NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, acknowledges that the towers came down at essentially free fall acceleration. What are the implications of that admission? The measurements have indicated that Tower 1 collapsed in about 11 seconds and Tower 2 collapsed in about 9 seconds. This is essentially the rate at which free fall would happen. The buildings actually accelerated as they came down, meaning they were not getting resistance from these massive columns in the center of the core of this building. The core of this building was very heavy. They're huge columns, huge. This block accelerates straight down. Uh, or is it's picking up speed downward continually. It doesn't slow down, it just continues to gain speed. It accelerates the entire time. And that was what was extremely significant. This structure was capable of holding three to five times the weight, and here it is falling through it with a resistance of only one third of its weight. Roughly 90% of the resistance has been removed and what's happening is the top section is not crushing down the lower section like a pile driver, which is the picture that NIST basically is painting. It's, it's actually falling into material that's already been pulverized, that's offering very little resistance. It's just coming down through pre-pulverized material. Structural connections not only had to fail nearly simultaneously, but in sequential order. You stood there and watched it destroy itself, wiping out floor by floor all 287 structural columns as if they didn't exist underneath the uh, damage zone. <laughs>